So we're solving this differential equation. First, we write it in the standard form, yeah? So this becomes 4x plus 2y times dx plus 2x or minus 2x plus 1 dy equals 0. We know this is not this is not a separable differential equation because we have an x term added to a y term. And so you can separate it. Correct? So yeah. So then you know you could test it to see if it's exact. Uh by doing so this here is our m and this here is our n and to test for exact we can take partial m partial y and that would just be uh, d over dy of 4x Four x plus two y. That's the partial derivative of the m term with respect to y. You hold x fixed. You differentiate with respect to y. So the answer is two. And then we can do the same thing to test uh, partial n partial x. So that's partial of minus two x minus one because of this minus term sign here. And, of course, here the answer is minus 2. So, since partial m partial y does not equal partial m partial x, differential equation is not exact. Now, if it's not exact, we can forcefully make it exact by multiplying it by an integrating factor. Uh, I found it to be easy to read. Yeah. Uh, the integrating factor is e to the negative 2? It wouldn't make sense for an integrating factor to just be a e to the minus 2 with no variables in it. Technically, we can. Yeah. So now we can go back to the old form to, to find the integrating factor. You can write it in the form of 2x plus 1 dy over dx minus equal to 4x. And if we multiply it by an integrating factor, uh, mu 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 then this should be the product rule of 
y. Times mu d over dx is equal to 4x mu. And the product rule on this will be uh, um, product rule will be uh, dy over dx times mu. Plus mu uh, times oh wait uh, actually oh, wait a second we forgot to put it in the standard form we'd have to divide by two x plus one so uh, Uh, so if we divide by uh, everywhere by so before we multiply by the integrating factor we have to make it just dy over dx so we divide oops I don't know why this is okay so we divide here by 2x plus 1 here by 2x plus 1 and here by 2x plus 1. So then this becomes dy over dx minus 2 over 2x plus 1 has to be in the standard form is equal to 4x over 2x plus 1. So now it's in the form where you can multiply by the integrating factor. So you could put an integrating factor here, integrating factor here, and an integrating factor here. And this one is nothing but the product rule of mu y equals that. OK? And then if you find the derivative of this by differentiating using the product rule, you will get mu dy over dx plus y d mu over dx is equal to 4x over 2x plus 1 mu. And now if you compare, look what we've got here. This is the same exact thing as this. This term is the same exact thing as this. Uh, right? Oh, I forgot the y. There's a y here. Let me write the y. There was a y here. So uh, let's go back to the red. So the y is the y here. So watch. This has to equal mu times 2 over 2x plus 1. d mu over dx. So d mu over dx has to equal mu minus, with the minus sign, mu, 2 mu over 2x plus 1. And now you can separate the, you can use separation of variables to figure out what mu is, which is the integrating factor. So this is if you want to do it from scratch with, without relying on equations. Of course, there's an easier process where you just follow the steps in the book and, you know, if this do this, if that do this, and then when you get the integrating factor, put it in this equation and you get the solution. So that's kind of the recipe. But this is more like working from scratch. Yeah. Working the, the integrating factor out yourself without relying on formulas. Yeah. Uh, which I think is, is more cool and a uh, smarter way to go because yeah. if, if you forget the, equa the equation, then you can still do it yourself. Or if you forget one of the equations. Right. Right, exactly. So now, uh, separation of variables, we divide by mu. So x is on one side, the mu is on the other side. We get minus 2 over 2x plus 1 dx. And now all we have to do is integrate both sides. That's it.
So d mu over mu will just be ln mu equals uh, this you can use substitution on. Uh, you can pull the minus 2 out. You can call 2x plus 1u. So du will be 2dx. And then, um, so dx would be du over 2. So you'd bring the minus 2 out. And dx is du over 2. So you bring the 2 out. And you'd get 1 over u du. And the integral of 1 over u du is just ln u. And this just goes away. And you get minus 1 ln u. And this is ln mu. Mu is the integrating factor. So this is minus ln u is just 2x plus 1. Uh, now, to in order to work out the log, you have to get rid of this minus 1. So you have to bring it to the exponent of this guy. So you get ln mu equals ln 2x plus 1 raised to the minus 1, right? By the properties of the log. So that just means that mu, which is your integrating factor as a function of x, is just equal to the inside, 1 over 2x plus 1. Bingo. OK? So now you go back and you multiply it here in star. OK? So multiply the integrating factor. Mu x to equation star. OK? Just like it says. So. Um, and we know by the product rule we're going to get that. In fact, we can just plug it in right here. No? Let's make this equation star, just to be more concise, because eventually we need to go back to this anyways. So, um, so let's do it here. OK? So d over dx of mu times y is equal to the right hand side is 4x over 2x plus 1 times mu times 1 over 2x plus 1. OK? And now when you get to this point, what do you do? You integrate, because the integral will undo the derivative. So now we can integrate both sides. OK? And this integral here will undo the derivative. And then we get 1 over, you get the inside. And then here, the way we're going to integrate this is, let's see here. Um, so this is 4x over 2x plus 1 all squared. Uh, we could use u substitution on this. Yes. We can bring this dx goes here. OK. Yeah, we can use u substitution here, sure, on this integral. So u sub. So let's call u to be 2x plus 1. So du will be 2 dx, OK? Which makes 2x equals u minus 1, which makes 4x to be twice u minus 1. So this is 2 times u minus 1 over u squared. And then du is just, uh, dx is just du over 2. And this 2 crosses out with that 2. And then we get, we can split this up into u over u squared minus 1 over u squared. OK, du for each one of them, of course. 
and this is just 1 over u, which makes it ln u, minus the integral of 1 over u squared is 1 over u, minus 1 over u. So this becomes plus 1 over u. Okay? And this comes down as is throughout these steps. So 1 over 2x plus 1 times y equals this. Now we can put back u for what it is. u is 2x plus 1. Yeah, so we get 1 over 2x plus 1y. What's that? Yeah, I'm making t. Absolute value plus 1 over 2x plus 1 plus c. So now we to find to solve for y, we could just multiply each one by 2x plus 1, and we get uh, ln 2x plus 1 uh, times 2x plus 1. Uh, so um, why don't we just put the log after this? So it's 2x plus 1 times ln of 2x plus 1. Here, when you multiply by 2x plus 1, you just get 1, because the 2x plus 1 cancels. And here, you get c times 2x plus 1. And finally, we were able to solve this. It's a bit longer if you're working this out from scratch. There's just I what I did. I didn't more algebra to worry about. Um, so uh, this pretty much solves uh, that differential equation. Uh, we, we turned it into an integrating factor because, uh, and I could have one the other way, by the way. Once you get the integrating factor, you can go back to the old method, but I just figured using the integrating factor might just be uh, faster here. Any questions on that? Uh, so how did I, so it started here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's the uh, issue? Yeah, you first you have to, yeah, you divide the 2x plus 1 out so you can put it in the standard form. Uh, 